of you, Lord. For your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay my As we begin our time of prayer this morning, I want to share a story with you. I think every kid dreams of having an epic treehouse. When I was a boy, my siblings and I would climb the peppercorn trees on our property. The tre these trees had thick low branches and thick foliage, and on hot days they would keep us cool. We would find planks of wood and rope, and using these we would make a fortress. We would head out to our family orchard and we'd gather all sorts of fruit. We'd gather apples, pears, plums, grapes, and apricots and all sorts, and we would feast and play all day in these peppercorn trees. I suppose you could describe part of the nature of a tree as a fortress. It shelters, provides food and shade for the animals, a home for the birds, and for my siblings and I, it was a fort, a place of refuge and adventure. We usually come to learn the nature of a thing when we come into contact with it, when we encounter it. The nature of a chair, you could say, is to be a support for the subject sitting on it. Uh, to be plain, you could say a chair has a certain chairness to it. <laughs> you wouldn't use a chair to jack up a car. It would be crushed. Of course, chairness is not a word, but I think you get my point. We know the nature of a thing by the experience that we have with it. In a sense, we can take this idea of nature and apply it to God. How can we know the nature of God if we don't experience or recognize him? Somehow we have to encounter God to know him, to know his heart. Growing up, I learned many things about God. I came from a Catholic family. Uh, I, had, I have 12 siblings, a massive Catholic family, and we would devote time regularly to prayer and learning the faith. I don't think I ever intellectually disbelieved in God, but this didn't stop me from straying down the wrong path and submitting to sin and lies about my identity and self-worth. To believe with your mind is important, but God calls us much deeper than that. He calls us to conversion of heart. At the age of 17, I attended a Catholic youth retreat during which I began to experience the love of God in mysterious and unexplainable ways. The third person of the Blessed Trinity, God the Holy Spirit, was nudging at my heart, calling me to relationship with the Father. 
in submitting my full self to God, my fears, anxieties, and shame, the gates of my heart opened right up and got outpoured and overflowed his love into my heart by the power of the Holy Spirit. This encounter with God opened my eyes and I could finally see. I could see the nature of God and that was of pure, unconditional, sacrificial love. And he wanted to share that with me in relationship. Because we are made in the image of likeness of God, I learned that too I was made for love and for a life of love. This restored my identity as a son of God and my worth was now measured by how much God loves me. It's overwhelming to contemplate that the same Holy Spirit of 2,000 years ago who appeared as a gush of wind and tongues of fire to the first disciples at Pentecost still chose to come to me to change my heart and change my life. Truly, our God is alive and living. Those of us physically present here are about to enter into a time of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament. We're intentionally praying for you today. Whilst you might not be present before the Blessed Sacrament like us, God still longs for you to encounter him. On this day of Pentecost, we invite you to call upon the third person of the Blessed Trinity, the Holy Spirit. Invite the Holy Spirit into your home, into your heart. If there are family members present with you, pray for the Holy Spirit to encounter them too. Pray as one to encounter God the Holy Spirit and pray this prayer with me. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen.
spread out a feast We humbly fall before you And you meet us on our knees We cannot comprehend this That your mercy would surpass each and every sin Extraordinary King, you're the one who rules the heavens. It's your calmest child to offer us everything. Oh, what can we bring? We sing holy, holy is the Lamb. We sing.
spirit was moving over the water, spirit come over us, come rest on us, come rest on us, like the spirit was moving over the water, spirit come Feel the room, you're here and I know you're moving. I'm here and I know you feel me. Calm down, spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you feel the room. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart found. When you feel the room.